Hello, Conway second graders. I'm going to start chapter three of Mr. Peabody and Sherman. All right, we're going to start with chapter three. He calls it the way back, I explained, leading Penny to the time machine. I knew the way back was supposed to be a secret, but Penny had called me a liar, so I had to show her the time machine. Can the way back go back to an hour ago? Penny asked me. Why? Because I could take it home, pretend to be sick, and not come to this lame party, she replied. Ha ha, Mr. Peabody says you should never use the way back to travel in time when you existed. How come, Penny asked. Because then there'd be two of you, I explained. Penny nodded. I guess the world's not ready for that. I punched in the secret code on the keypad, and the door opened. Whoosh! Penny said when she saw the machine. My stomach tied itself in knots. Suddenly, this seemed like a very bad idea. What if Mr. Peabody found out? What if Penny told someone else? I was losing my nerve. Now that you've seen it, maybe we should go back, I suggested. Penny brushed me aside. Are you kidding? Where should we go first? Mr. Peabody says I'm not allowed to drive it, I said. Do you do everything that Mr. Peabody says? Yes, I mumbled. Since when was following your dad's rules a bad thing? Penny smirked. You know what makes you Sherman, a dog? I couldn't let her get away with that twice. I revved up the machine. Next stop, 1776. A short while later, I parked the way back at home. Without Penny, things had gotten out of control. Now I was safe, but Penny was still in the distant past. I tried not to panic. All I needed was a plan. If I could reuse Penny before her parents knew she was missing, then no one would get hurt. But how? I snuck inside to find Mr. Peabody. He would know what to do. Psst. Mr. Peabody, can I talk to you? I whispered into the living room, where Mr. Peabody was busy entertaining the Petersons. Where's Penny? he asked, crossing the floor to meet me. I bit my lip. Ancient Egypt? Peabody's eyes bulged. You used the way back, he whispered. How could you? I hung my head. She called me a liar, I began. But when I said it out loud, it didn't seem like such a big deal. So you took her back in time, Mr. Peabody asked? So she was into it, I said. Just then, the Petersons peeked around the corner. Where's Penny, Mr. P Peterson asked. Uh, I utterly dumbly. What's going on, Mrs. Peterson asked. I felt sick to my stomach. It's hard to say, Mr. Peabody replied. Then, to buy some time, he waved his hands back and forth to hypnotize the Peter Petersons into a trance. I stared at the as they stiff, angry faces. I stared at, this, at their stiff, angry faces. I didn't want to see how they would look if we didn't bring Penny back from ancient Egypt. To the way back, Mr. Peabody ordered. You have to see what happens next in chapter four.